Hello everyone and welcome to the second video in the Feature Spotlight series. My name is David Wells, I'm Head of Communications for Fairytale Distillery. This second video is going to focus on experience gains. So if you, if you saw the first video that was focusing on our, on our time boxing feature, these two videos will go quite well together as both have the same motives and goals really. So in this video I'm going to explain how we plan to implement experience gains in the world of Dustel and why we're doing it that way. Now the amount of XP that players can actually earn each day is limited by a daily cap and the reason that we do that is that we want people to level through the world on an even playing field and we don't really want people grinding away as they do in a lot of other MMOs. We kind of want the world of Das Tal to be its own large story and the players in it are part of that story and they progress through it towards the end and we don't really want anyone being able to power level ahead and then grief the rest of the players. And that isn't to say that we don't want people playing the game as much as they want because they can spend as much time as they want in game. It's just that we don't want the focus of their gameplay to be grinding and trying to get higher level just so that they have an advantage. We want people to be going around enjoying themselves, doing the things that they enjoy in game. And we don't want that to be grinding. It's as simple as that. It's also important to point out that when I talk about an even playing field, I'm not talking about everyone just sitting around and holding hands or anything like that. Like the the world of Das Tal will be a very competitive environment and people will be able to gain advantages over other players, but we don't want to introduce a way that people can gain unfair advantages in the game design. So we don't want to create that avenue that people can go down where they, they get an easy advantage over other players. If people play tactically and uh, you know, deny each other XP by uh, holding out resource areas and not allowing anyone else in, or uh, attacking people while they're trying to farm mobs, that sort of thing, that's all fine. We, we just don't want people to be able to power level ahead, like I said. Gaining XP in the world of Dust Tal will mean leveling up, and the way that this will work is very similar to the way that people are probably quite familiar with in a lot of MMOs. Uh, characters will gain a level, they'll gain hit points, that sort of stuff, but most importantly they'll gain access to new skills as they work through. So that will mean combat will become a lot more complex as the game moves on. Players will actually earn XP from three different sources and each of these sources will have an independent cap. So to get their entire daily cap they will actually need to make sure they, they fill that quota each one third. Uh, the first of these sources is just experience that all characters will get, whether they log in, whether they do certain activities, regardless. A player can log in three weeks later and they will have the accumulated amount of that one third XP. And the reason that that's there is to keep everyone on an even playing field, keep it a little bit reasonable. If someone doesn't have enough time to log in, they can still log in three weeks later and they're not going to find themselves level two when everyone else is level 100. You know, they'll, they'll still have made a reasonable amount of progress, which will allow them to at least enjoy the game slightly. They'll still be useful, basically, and they they can enjoy the game. And that's, that's what's most important, really. Uh, the second source of XP will come from the majority of activities, and that includes PvP activities like uh, defending or attacking resource spawns, uh, crafting, all sorts of activities. Basically, anything you do in game is going to give you some XP towards that uh, quota. Except killing players, we decided that simply actually killing another player shouldn't give XP because it's far too easy to exploit and we don't want people just killing each other and getting the, their one third of XP from that source. Um, the third source of XP is going to be from drops that will drop from mobs in the world. So by killing a bunch of mobs uh, they have a chance to drop this item and by using the item you will be able to gain that uh, last third of XP. And these items will actually be storable, which means that people can keep them in their bank or their inventory and save them up in case they don't have much time on a particular day and they can log in, play for half an hour, whatever they feel like, use the item and get that one third of XP. Uh, they'll also be tradable, which means that someone who doesn't have as much time to play can either trade for that item using something else that they've crafted or found, uh, or they can trade it from a friend who maybe has more time to play. So I think that's a pretty good summary of the XP system. Uh, we really want XP gains in Dust Tail to not be the focus of the game. We kind of want it to be something that, yeah, you have to think about uh, and you need to make sure you're getting that experience to level up and be strong, but 
we want people to be focusing on enjoying the game and it definitely shouldn't be a way that people can just spend hours grinding away and gain an advantage over other players. Um, like I said, the other video that I did on time boxing lines up quite well with some of the stuff I've talked about in this video, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, I'll also leave a link to our forums in the description because we want to hear what people think about these things. We, we definitely want to hear if you think they're bad ideas, how, we think, how you think we could do it better or just if you have any feedback in general uh, or questions. So please head over there and hang out and have a chat with us. If not, I will see you guys soon when I do the next video for this series. Thank you for watching. Bye.